So I've just finished designing and building my dream four-wheel drive after two long years in the shed. I thought to myself, what's a better way to shake it down properly than going to the top of Australia, the famous Cape York. This series, aptly named Paratalk to Cape York, covers my 10,000k journey to the tip of Australia from Melbourne and then back home again. We hit a lot of popular four-wheel drive destinations along the way, including the famous Telly Track and of course the stunning Fraser Island. If you'd like to see a build recap, check out this time lapse of my build and you can find that right here. But for now, enjoy Barra Talk to Cape York. In this episode of Barra Talk to Cape York, two old Land Cruisers tackle the telly track. We're also giving away a King Chrome chest and trolley combo. Stay tuned for the details on how to win that. Every single YouTuber gets this shot, so we thought we may as well join. We had a relatively smooth drive from Airlie Beach to here, which I think, I don't know how many k's is that? 700 and, oh, 790 from Cairns, and plus, I don't know, 700 or something from Airlie. Yeah, so maybe 1500 k's from Airlie. I haven't had to put a spanner on the cart, which is excellent yeah. news. First time in a long time that I haven't had to do that, which means we're sort of getting the bugs out of the car. Cal's in the same boat, the car, his car's running absolutely beautifully. Any concerns, Cal, before you take it on the track? Nah, I reckon she'll be right. That's the attitude I like to hear. <laughs> Do I have some concerns? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, river crossings are one of them, but we are very, very late in the season. It is the second last week of October, and the river crossings are supposedly lower. Um, and then just, obviously, general reliability, engine conversion issues. But I have a lot more confidence in the car than I did two weeks ago or even last week when we were bolting in tail shafts the day before or making a spare manifold the night before so I think we're going to be okay really looking forward to just relaxing we've sort of been punching it up here and uh, and we've had some pretty long days but I think today's going to be a good day yeah stay. We're at Palm Creek, and you don't really realize how steep and gnarly it is until you get here. From this angle, it looks like it's nothing, but it really is quite steep. Decided not to do the entry. I think it's just probably a bit too gnarly. I just don't have enough experience. Just at Palm Creek, and this is my life for the next five days. Just gonna be a camera bitch. No water, none at all. This is the exit now. On camera, it probably doesn't look gnarly at all. There's a couple of little bumps here, but should be all right. Well, we said more right boot. All right, here we go, Palm Creek exit. Finished up with Palm Creek. I managed to drive it. Uh, Cal got a little bit caught up with the canopy. He definitely could have driven it, but didn't want to damage the canopy, so we just gave him a quick little winch out. Yes, yeah, so you can see here he's done a little bit of damage, but still opens and closes. Nothing serious.
Any snapping handbags in this one? Couple of 4580s at Birdie Creek, we made it. We're gonna set up camp here for the night. It's obviously significantly lower at this time of season. But uh, yeah, I mean, the water's lovely, it's a hot day. We're just taking it slow from here on out. Cal, run me through it. I think we're gonna do a proper rig rundown at some stage, which isn't going to be today. You've obviously got a fridge slide, a table. Yeah. What else have you got that makes your life a bit easier than ours? Well, I got drawers for a start. Yep. Uh, um, inverter, 120 amp lithium battery. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the 12 volts really nice. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, me and Fabian, we are. We've got this little fold-out table, the Hyperflame, the hottest stove known to man. And we've got this, which is just a bit of a mess. Uh, it's hard to stack things on. Hard to tie stuff down to. The King Chrome boxes are great, they're nice and sealed. The fridge gets a bit dirty. The Jerry's, they're all right. They carry water, I guess. Yeah, you'd have double the room. If there was only one person in this car, maybe it'd be adequate. This is us, so we're living out of these two food tubs and that fridge, but I guess the moral of the story is you just don't need fancy to go camping and enjoy Australia. So we're doing it a bit rough this time, but we'll be back more with a setup like that, I reckon. And uh, yeah, watch watch this space, we'll design and build one. All right, we're about to head off. Classic FT with the bonnet up. Let me just run you through, if you if we haven't already, the tie down setup on, on what we're doing here. It's one of the greats, to be perfectly honest with you viewers. Uh, we've got some swags, we've got, I put some max tracks on the toolboxes, might have shown you that already. Uh, we've got some tubs tied down to fridges. We've got some more tubs, eskies. We've got some rubbish, more swags, water. I mean, it's not ideal, far from ideal, but we're just out here getting it done and enjoying it. It's day two on the telly track and we've got the much revered Gunshot Creek first up. It's a short drive from camp and we'll take a good look at it before we make any decisions. Just a gunshot today, and I think we're going to give it a drive. I don't think it looks as bad as Palm Creek. So, mirrors in, lockers in, winter open the window, and we'll uh, we'll give it a go. You yeah, you got a fiberglass roof, eh? Yeah, so it's yeah. a bit, maybe a bit more risk for you. Let's take a little break from the video to announce the King Chrome Christmas giveaway. King Chrome and I are giving away this 14 draw Evolution Deep Chest and Trolley Combo valued at $1,149 RRP. All you have to do to win this is subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the King Chrome channel, and comment designed and built on episode 5 of their side-by-side -side series. Right. While we're here, it'll be rude not to hit it. So you can see the sides are quite narrow. Uh, and there is a risk of damaging your trays, damaging your bodies, damaging your roofs, just damaging a lot of stuff in general. We're going to go send it. The 4580s, I, I have a pretty good feeling about it. We've designed and built them pretty well, and just the, the sort of a combination of the chassis and the cab uh, are good. So 
we shouldn't incur any damage. Copy, Rich. Yeah, just about to set off. Righto, we're uh, ready for you. All right, viewers, we are at the Elusive Gunshot Creek. Obviously never done it before. It does look better than Palm Creek entry, so we're going to give it a go. We've got the winch rope in the cabin, and we've got a recovery uh, strap on the other side, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Yeah, maybe go left hand down if you need to. Left hand down. Gunshot Creek, late season 2022. Cal, how did you find it? Oh yeah, look, a bit nervous at the start, but um, yeah, definitely a great experience. One thing to say about the 4580 builds is the cabs are narrower than the track width. So for something like this, they're pretty perfect. You can see that the cabs, they didn't scrape the sides, although if you were in a wagon or, you know, something a bit more modern, it would have scraped the sides. So it's pretty cool. Both of these cars sustained no damage. Mine, I, I drove it a little bit more exuberantly than <laughs> Cal. Um, Cal took it really slow and it was nicely, nice and controlled, whereas yeah. I just sort of, I might have sensed it a little bit. Not not intentionally, I just should have probably been a little bit harder on the brakes, but live and learn. I guess yeah. for me, absolutely, it was a, it was a puckering moment. It was, uh, it was really scary. But when you, once you're sort of in it, it just, um, yeah, it was really good. Off cool. to Fruit Bat. Yeah, off to Fruit Bat now. Let's cool. do it. Are doing the damage, guys. No, they're not. Okay. Alright, Cal, come on, let's drive it.
Fruit Bad Falls, how good. Probably the best swimming spot so far at this time of the season. Majestic, majestic. <laughs> So that's Fruit Bat and Twin Falls all wrapped up. What an absolutely sensational spot. A must do if you're on the telly track. Now we're off to find camp for the night. Camp for the night. What are we doing, Cal? Speak up, speak up. Just cleaning the air filter. Yep. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a pretty good brand. It's, it's the best spanner I own. Yep, yeah, no, I mean, uh, not surprised. Would you like a 10 mil? We can help them out, viewers. Good as new. All right, so Cal was kind enough to lend me a pre-oiled filter, which has just gone over my regular one. I should have done this from the start, but it's better late than never. Day three on the telly track. Today we're aiming to finish off the telly track and get to Punson Bay. We've got a fair few river crossings coming up, including the most notorious one of them all, the famous Nolan's Brook. Mistake Creek here, pretty cool little entry. I bet it looks flat on camera, it always does. Cal sending first. Yeah, it should be too bad, not very deep. How crystal clear is the water? If we're in Victoria, Creaky reckons. How are we looking? Oh yeah, I think it's quite doable. Good, good stuff. <laughs> Pretty easy actually. It's uh, it's really good. We've got someone very responsible in the group, and then we've got me and Fabian as well. Do you reckon you get it in that diesel engine? I don't know. I might have to submarine it.
next time on Barrett Talk to Cape York. We finish off the old telly track and run into a few dramas along the way. We then do a beach run on some of Australia's most northern beaches on our way to the tip. If you'd like to tag along for the rest of the journey, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.